Hello guys, this is Amos Stole Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play this super super catchy tune Okay, I'll just give you a preview right now, you know what it is once you hear it, here we go, check it out But anyway, really awesome catchy tune and it's also it we've been a lot of memes as well I mean, A lot of memes use this song as well. So really catchy tune and it's a very interesting rhythm and now the second half of the motif So let's get started. Okay, so All right, let's break it up into two parts It'll be a pretty quick lesson because the motif in this is like broken up into two parts and the two parts after you get that rhythm It's not as hard as you think it is. Okay, but anyway the first part goes like this Okay, so it starts on the C sharp here on the right hand. So middle C is here for a reference. What we want to do, you go by an octave to this C, is the C sharp that starts there, okay? So it goes C sharp, C sharp again, C sharp for the third time, and then the fourth and fifth time you play the C sharp faster, and then B up to E. Okay, that is the first part. One more time for this first part. So at the start, there's five C sharps, as you can see. So it's like, one, two, three, four, five, B, E, like that. Okay, but you can see the fourth and fifth C sharp are faster than the other three. Okay, but anyway, that's that. Okay, so da, 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 like that. Okay, so the rhythm is quite important as well. Let's go ahead and show you the rhythm right now. So it goes one, two, like in between. So it's like one, Like that, okay. So it's okay. Follow that beat, okay. One, two, three, four, like that, okay. So those are the four counts, like that, okay. So get that rhythm right because it also won't really sound like the original. But anyway, that's the right hand. All right, left hand. We have a bunch of like chords here, but don't worry about it. It's not that hard, okay. Um, let me see. Okay, so here we go. Uh, it goes A major for five times, which is A, C sharp, E, so five of them, so two, three, four, five. And then the next chord is G sharp minor, which is G sharp, B, D sharp. And the last chord is C sharp minor, which is C sharp, E, G sharp. Okay, so one more time, those, how many chords are there? There's seven chords here, okay? So five A major chords, so one, two, three, four, five. Sixth chord is G sharp minor, and then the last chord is C sharp minor. Okay, so the chords are really easy. The reason why is because every right hand melody note is paired with a chord right here. So it goes like, like that. Okay, so remember that this is paired with every single melody note. So, like that. So the rhythm is important as well. So, uh, yes. Okay, so remember to count that rhythm in your head. So, one, sorry. So, one, two, three. Be hard to count, but you'll feel the beat, okay? Yeah, so for me, I'll like go ahead and like tap the rhythm out first, like that. Yeah, copy that rhythm, okay? So that is the first part, okay? Then the second part is just a uh, right hand motive, okay? So it's very interesting. Okay, so it's a five note motive on the right hand, the second part, it goes F sharp, E, C sharp, B, C sharp. So these five notes, you play it for a total of, of another two more times, so three times in total, so second time, third time, and then you want to play it again, but you only play the F sharp and E, like that. So essentially, it's three times of the motive plus F sharp and E, so like this. So it goes first time, second time, third time, and an F sharp E like that. So you want to start the fourth time, but it's only playing the first two notes of that motive. So that is the second part. So the rhythm is quite interesting here as well because the F sharp and E at the start is actually on an upbeat, okay? The first beat, it actually belongs to the C sharp. So it goes like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, like that. Really interesting, okay? So it's like, So the main beats are here, 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 like that. 
So pay attention to that where I said here is because left hand is actually playing the chord on the main beat as well there. Okay, so what you want to do for the left hand is just playing C sharp minor chord for four times on the main beats, C sharp, E, G sharp. So whenever I said here, that's where you play it. So here, 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 here. Put it the two hands together, I'll say together, okay? But anyway, yeah, the two hands together for this second part goes like this. Together, 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 together. Like that, nice and smooth, okay? One more time. Together, 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 together. Just like that, okay? So, like that. Very interesting rhythm, okay? But anyway, yeah, make sure that F sharp and E is on the upbeat, so it goes 1-2-3-4 And yes, that's that, okay? So, back to back, the two parts that I've learned in this lesson will be played like this, okay? So... Repeats The main thing is counting it. It's really interesting, like counting for the second, especially the second half. It's a little bit confusing at times. But anyway, yeah. So with uh, just the tapping with the right hand, just goes like this. Like that. Okay, count as well. So it goes one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, like that, okay? Just like that. Okay, it's so pretty awesome. So make sure you get the rhythm right and then you get this awesome theme out, okay? But anyway, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial of this awesomely catchy song. And as for now, go ahead and check out my full cover of this song. The entire song is awesome. Every single section is pretty awesome. After this section, the verse is awesome and then the chorus is awesome as well. So check that out if you enjoy uh, this song, like this song as well. But anyway, if you enjoy learning this piano method, go ahead and check out my website for more. So if you want to learn more about it, so bestpianomethod.com is linked in the description below. But anyway, if you also enjoyed this tutorial, leave a like and also check out all our other similar tutorials like this. I have over 2,500 piano videos for you to enjoy and learn from. So a lot of stuff for you to check out on this channel. But anyway, yeah, enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time. I'm glad you made it to the end of my video. Now you can visit my website to learn how to play this or any song you want through my methods explained through books and courses. Or just get me to make a full song video lesson or sheet music transcription on any song you want using my customized services. As for now, enjoy your time on my channel, subscribe and see you next time.